Hey there, everyone. Tom Funk here with Tom Funk's Abu Dhabi Adventure. Long time no see, my friends. Last time I checked in with you guys, I was about a week away from going home on a family vacation. And no, I did not go back to Michigan. I actually... Uh, um, went to Colorado is where we ended up going. And I'm here to tell you that mission is accomplished. And Nathaniel and I left on a Saturday uh, morning right out of Abu Dhabi, landed in uh, New York's JFK, and hopped to JetBlue to Denver. Uh, the only glitch we had was when we got to Denver, the hotel was full because we arrived past the check-in time. But they just moved us next door to another hotel uh, that they managed. So the following morning, back to the airport to catch a two-hour shuttle to the Keystone, Colorado area, which is about 10 miles from Breckenridge. So we just, uh, you know, did some exploring, some shopping. We climbed. We did some hiking, uh, bird watching, and things like that. And the weather was real nice. I don't think it ever got above 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and there were some mornings where it was in the mid-30s. We also got up in elevation in the cool weather as well. So it was a nice reprieve from the the heat I've been experiencing here in Abu Dhabi. I then left Nathaniel with his mother and grandparents to spend the rest of his summer in Michigan. Um, and I flew home by myself, and he will fly back here at the end of August. So he has been fully paid for, accepted, and enrolled at the Canadian International School. All that is left for school is to buy his uniforms and register him for his classes. And he starts the last Monday of this month. The other part of the process is patriating him to the United Arab Emirates. And let's just say there's a lot of paperwork, as expected. But paperwork I had to depend on others outside of work and family to provide in a very short amount of time. Surprisingly, I was able to pull that off in a couple of days where I was uh, quite uh, anxious that it would have taken a couple of weeks. Of all things that I needed, I needed to provide a recent utility bill as part of the paperwork. And I've mentioned my landlord hadn't switched over the utilities to my name since I moved here back in January. Um, complicate that, we have a language barrier between us and she's currently out of the country and again, I am kind of a nervous wreck because of this, basically because it comes down to this. Here in the UAE, you and the landlord register your lease with the local municipality who reviews it and uh, they make sure it's legal and legit. Well, we had done that months ago, but I never received the official form from the municipality, which is called a Tawthik. Without this Tawthik, I can't switch over my utilities Ergo, I don't have a utility bill. Basically, what I've been doing is she um, sends me what uh, um, is owed, and I've been kind of paying it on her behalf. Um, you know, of course, she swore up and down that I've been taken care of. You know, but I don't have this form. I kept telling her I don't have this tafik. I don't have it. Well, I did a little digging because the UAE does an awesome job tracking records online. And I found there was a small fee she hadn't paid to release the Tothic to me. So I let her know this. She goes online. She pays the fee. And within half an hour, not only was this Tothic emailed to me from the municipality, the municipality also notified the utilities, and I was automatically signed up for my utilities all within a matter of a couple of hours. No phone calls, no in-person visits, no paperwork. I just had to verify my ID. That's it. Just think of the nonsense we put up with at home and that we have to go through to accomplish something similar. This is just an example of how uh, the UAE wants their government to be quick and efficient. Now, my employer has put the wheels into motion to get his visa. And I was told three to five business days. Again, how long would that take in the U.S.? Probably three to five months. So I am uh, pleased as punch. This is going quite quickly and uh, no hiccups. So that's kind of nice. So once Nathaniel has his visa, 
they will buy his plane ticket, they being my employer. And before you know it, Nathaniel will be here and a resident of the United Arab Emirates, just like his old man. So Nathaniel and I, as you may recall, uh, we did a trip up to Dubai and uh, we visited five of the other six Emirates as well. And we decided that uh, once a month we'd rent a car and either go camping or exploring or both in one of or the in one of the other Emirates. So once a month we'll go on a weekend trip to you know one of the Emirates like Sharjah and find stuff to do. Well, it's still currently hotter than blazes here. So although we are experiencing one of the coolest summers on record, still too hot to go hiking or doing anything outdoors for more than half an hour. Um, we can think an active mon monsoon season over the Indian uh, subcontinent out in the Indian Ocean for our cooler weather. It's been shooting a lot of clouds this way. Uh, so we've been having a lot of cloudy weather. Um, heck, it even rained here a few times as well. Um, you guys had the floods over there in uh, Kentucky. We had similar um, here in the UAE over on the uh, east coast over by Oman um, in uh, uh, Fujara. So a lot of flooding over there. So we are on the downhill side of summer uh, towards winter. Um, our temps are still in the low 100s and lows are in the mid 90s. Uh, the humidity is, uh, I don't want to say it's super oppressive, but it's pretty bad. If I, when I walk to the little grocery store and back, which is probably a quarter mile, it's probably, you know, 20 minute walk, I am sweating uh, by the time I get back. So, uh, on sunny days, uh, the temperature will 100, hit 110 degrees. And for kicks and giggles, I'll go, um, uh, out of our bunker at work where I work. Um, and I'll just take a step outside just to see the sun and, and see how hot it is. And it's hot. So, uh, but we're still shy of the 120 degrees um, uh, temperatures that uh, they typically see. So, um, I guess that's kind of nice. So, I've been told you haven't seen anything yet. Well, we'll wait till next summer, I guess. So, the weather should be decent enough to explore outside starting in late September, which times out real nice because that's about the time the migratory birds and winter birds start arriving um, is in early September, and uh, so. That should work out really, really nice. So, you know, so in a nutshell, I've been lying low mostly because of the weather, but partly because I forked over a ton of dough recently for plane tickets, vacations, high school tuition, and now that I have my utilities in my name, I'm uh, getting caught up with the past bills uh, that my landlord hadn't paid yet. So, uh, to keep myself entertained, I've been working on some creative projects. Uh, one that is relevant to living in Abu Dhabi is I've uploaded some new videos. Uh, to my YouTube channel about Abu Dhabi and hiking and a whole bunch of other things. But I have some new Abu Dhabi videos there. And I do have a few more to make. One video I'm still working on is uh, my my Expo 2022 visit. I've got, I think I've visited, what, three times? i got a ton of videos. i got to string all together and make that work real nice. Um, and it's probably going to be a long video. So look forward to that. All right, let me see if I can figure this out here. Hey, there it is. Bumper music. I'd like to thank my friend Adam Main, who is providing the music. And uh, if I can figure this out, this is uh, Joy Modulator 2.0 off of his Elevator Pitches album. Adam and I go way back. Uh... And I'm thankful that he's provided uh, some music for this uh, podcast. All right, so uh, if you have a question, feel free to ask. I uh, um, uh, one I've been getting is uh, uh, about masks and COVID and that kind of stuff. Um, yes, we're still wearing masks. Yes, we're still uh, um, showing what we call our green pass to get into places. Um, I don't see this ending anytime soon. You know, keep in mind, this is a very safety conscious culture. You know, they're, they've lived in the desert for thousands of years. Um, they do all these extra things to ensure their survival. So kind of think of it in that context. So that's pretty much the, the question I, I got, uh, recently. Um, so yeah, thanks again for listening. Let's do this again after Nathaniel arrives at the end of the month. Uh, and, uh, thanks for Nortiv 8 for providing my hiking footwear. I'm now using their desert hikers. And I look forward to hiking with them in the fall. 
Follow my shenanigans on social media. Facebook, Tom Funk's Worldly Adventures. Instagram, YouTube, and yes, I am now on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, you're that right, TikTok. And that is uh, uh, Tom's Worldly Adventures. LinkedIn and Goodreads, I'm just Thomas Funks. And when you go visit these places, please click on the follow or subscribe, and that way you'll get updates. All right, thanks again for, for joining me. This is Tom Funk, your host for Abu Dhabi Adventure. We'll see you again in a few weeks.